Hey, this is Brett, and today I am extremely excited to show you this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler, you guessed it, Rubicon X in Hydro Blue Pro Coat. Uh, stock number on this one is 24J14. I'm here at Summit Auto, uh, your new and used Wrangler headquarters, and this is really a good looking Jeep and I'm gonna go over everything that the Wrangler X package gives you. Uh, we're gonna turn all the LED lights on at the end of the video as well. And uh, the big thing on this one, it's kind of, the, it's the mid model refresh. It's the first Rubicon X, which is the new package that we've gotten in. And it also has the power seats in it. So that's a really cool thing to uh, have. It's first time Wranglers had a power seat. Uh, starting right off at the beginning here, remember to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube channel. There's a link in the uh, description below as well as in the upper right-hand part of the screen and the lower right-hand part of the screen to subscribe to the channel. We do videos of new and used Jeeps each and every day. Anyways, getting started right here, the uh, Rubicon X package is going to give you the steel bumpers. Uh, the LED lights are standard on all of the 2024 Wranglers besides the Sport and the Sport S package. Um, you can't get them on Sport, Sport S, you have to special order them, but you get the LED lights in the fenders, the LED headlamps, LED running lights. This one has granite crystal inserts on the uh, grill there. Get the front camera, trail cam on there. That's part of the Rubicon X package, or you get that with the Rubicon X. You get the Highline flares color matched. You get these flare extenders to accommodate for the LT315 70R17 tires on here, the 17 inch beadlock capable wheels, new center caps for 2024 as well. You get uh, improved brakes on here. And I believe it's a one inch uh, ride height difference from just a normal Rubicon. They have bigger springs and sway bar links and stuff like that. Anyways, the other new thing for 2024 is no more antenna and you get a trail rated badge where that antenna used to be. The antenna is now in the windshield and all the windshields are Corning Gorilla Glass now. Still get the T50 on the doors. You can still take those off and that video that we did showing you how to take those doors off is still valid for 2024. You get the rock rails on there as well. Check out that video in the upper right hand part of the screen or in the description below. So I have no idea where the original window sticker went so I printed one off so we can take a look at it. Feel free to pause this. This will be linked in the description as well. Uh, 2024 Wrangler Forder Rubicon Hydro Blue Pearl Coat Black Interior Napa Leather Seats 36 uh, V6 Engine with the 8 speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left is uh, standard equipment and new for 2024 is the Dana M220 Wide Full Floating Rear Axle. And what that really does is it gives you a greater tow capacity up to 5,000 pounds on these Wranglers for the Rubicon package. Anyways, everything is your standard equipment right there. Um, that comes with the Rubicon interior features, standard equipment there. And then the optional equipment starts with the Hydro Blue Pro Coat, which is $595. The Rubicon X package or customer preferred package 24Y is a $12,500 option. Now that gives you the Napa leather seats, the power adjustable front driver seat and passenger seat, heated seats, heated steering wheel, Alpine premium sound connected travel and travel traffic services. You connect five nav with the 12.3 touch screen, 17 inch by eight inch machine wheels with black pockets, color matched Rubicon fender flares, those uh, big tires, the four to one rock track, heavy duty full-time four wheel drive system, Wind spot and cross path detection, remote start, automatic high beam headlamp control, park sense rear park assist system, integrated off-road camera, rear window defrost, rear window wiper washer, steel front and rear bumper, and the hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar. The automatic transmission is $4,500 and the Sky One Touch Power Top is a $3,795 option on the Rubicon package and uh, Total MSRP on this one is $72,580. To get your summit price uh, and incentives and rebates and stuff uh, in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to this vehicle on our website. Click that, check us out, 
uh, check this vehicle out uh, to get all the stuff you might qualify for. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. There's your miles per gallon. Uh, these look a little bit more um, realistic. I know on the high tide that we did, uh, these were the normal miles per gallon. I didn't think they uh, rated it very well for the tires and wheels that were on it. Um, but this looks pretty, pretty reliable there. So uh, we're gonna get to the seats. Note that the passenger seat is power as well. You get a back and a lower power as well as lumbar on there. And we're gonna check out those seats in just a second because they are the newest thing on the Wrangler. Still get the 3M guard on the fender flare there. Coming around to the back, note you get the metal bumper, the hinge gate reinforcement, the LED uh, tail lamps. The other thing on here is they have tail light extenders. You get the dog right there. It says Ralph for right. And I believe this is Louie over here. Yep, that's Louie, he's a bulldog. You get the matching tire and wheel. There's a good look at that tread pattern on that wheel. Coming into the back of the vehicle, you get the case for those side rear quarter windows. I actually did a video showing you how to take those out. You can check that out. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. It's a lot easier than you think. And uh, if you're curious about getting one of these with the Sky One Touch power top, I recommend watching that video because it shows you just how easy those are to get out. And it's pretty much like having, um, you know, taking off the hard top in a normal Wrangler. Uh, there's your Alpine subwoofer. You also get storage under here, door hinge, roof, and windshield bolt holders as well. And if you do have a hard top on your Wrangler and want to know how to take that off, we did videos of that as well. All this is linked in the description below. You get the seven slots on the back door. You get the JL badge right here with the two door, four door wheelbase, overall length, and water fording, as well as where it's developed and built in. Note that you get the red tow hook back here, the tow package, which gives you the receiver hitch, seven pin and four pin wiring as well, and the parking sensors on there. You get those extended fender flares on there as well. All right, let's go check out the semi new interior, the all new um, seats at least. So these are the power Napa leather seats and they're eight-way power, the first time that Jeep's ever had a power seat in a Wrangler. So you can see they're really, so they're supposed to be, you know, capable of getting wet, being in the rain. And I think that's why they, it, they look a little bit different. They look really flat, like they've really stitched these together well, so no water's gonna get in there and mess with the electronics. Um, you know, that's a big thing. You have the lumbar on there as well. And you can see the seat goes up, down, forward, back. The backrest goes like so. And I wrote in it, just pulling it into the picture studio here. It's pretty comfortable. You get the, this is a new badge for 2024 as well. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power mirrors, power locks. Uh, in the back, Second row seats, now these are not power. You get the latch child safety system, but it's the same kind of quality of leather. It's like a really stiff leather in here. Um, and I think they did that once again for just uh, protecting the electronics for those front seats and then they have to make the back seats the same material. 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You get two USBs, two USB-Cs back here as well as window controls. Uh, the other thing to note is that they've made the speakers a little bit different. They also have individual map lights for the passenger and driver side rear, as well as the front. These headrests go down, these seats go down like so, and they go down really nice and flat, which is great if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff. Let's go check out the radio and everything that's new with that. Just really excited about the uh, mid-model refresh. Really has reinvigorated me to want a Wrangler again. Um, get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer on there, instrument cluster looks really good. You get the leather wrap steering wheel. And I noted in the other video that I did of a Sahara that this, this leather feels different. You know what? And it feels just like the new leather seats. So I wonder if this is the new leather that Jeep is using. It's really a soft touch leather on the steering wheel 
but on the seats it feels you know stiffer than the old leather so that's pretty cool bluetooth and information center controls on the left audio controls on the back you get the red stitching on there as well and then uh, cruise controls adaptive cruise controls this is another thing that for 2024 i believe is going to become a standard feature um, we're already seeing it in the Grand Cherokees where you can't even get a Laredo without the adaptive cruise control. So I think that's a standard safety feature that's going to be going forward across the Jeep lineup. That's just my prediction. Here's the 12.3 Uconnect 5 radio. 12.3 uh, inches. It has AM, FM, and Sirius. This one has NAV. So this is going to be the standard radio across all the trim levels. The only difference is going to be one's going to have nav and one's not going to have nav. So um, this one does have the nav system on there. Remember, that's part of that Rubicon X package that you get this. Uh, so you get AM, FM, Sirius. You have your climate controls here. You can do your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls on there as well. You have your home screen uh, where it you know, splits it up. There's your factory navigation system. And then you have all your different apps that you can do on here. This one does have off-road pages. Let's show you those real quick. You get the sway bar if it's connected or disconnected. Steering angle, front axle lock if it's locked or unlocked. Rear axle locker if it's locked or unlocked. And the transfer case if it's locked or unlocked. So a lot of really good information, especially if you're off-roading. And then uh, you get your latitude, longitude, altitude on there. Your different accessory gauges. Pitch and roll and your front camera. You can check that out as well. I think the gotta have the ignition on there there's your front camera and you do get the trail lines so those are dynamic as you turn that steering wheel that turns as well so you can see kind of where your tires are going to be in the future which is great if you're doing off-roading and you can clean the camera and it's just got a little sprayer on there so if you get mud on there that's pretty cool and then you get your backup camera there as well so that's pretty cool anyways just a bunch of stuff you can do with this radio Let's just check out all the different apps. I'm not going to go through everything. You can pause this. and Hey, if you want to see how something works on this radio, let me know in the comments below, and I can make a video showing you how to use certain things on this radio, um, go into different things. Like if you go to vehicle, what's that going to do? That's going to give you your cameras right there. You have your dashboard uh, off-road pages. That's, pretty, that's a pretty cool thing that I believe is new for 2024 as well. Um, and then you have your system, your other. So yeah, like like I said, if you see anything in the video let, that you want to see in a video, let me know. Down here, you get your air vents. Remember, they used to be on the side of the 8-inch radio. Well, now they're below. And I uh, used to have a big storage area up here. Now that's two separate areas. Um, just a little bit different layout. You get the different dash on here as well. And everything under those vents, though, is exactly the same as the 2023, so I'm not going to go through too much of it. Just your climate controls, radio controls, window controls. You get four auxiliary switches down here. Off-road mode plus, sway bar disconnect, and that can lock your front and rear axles or just your rear. Um, and that's what really makes a Rubicon, the sway bar, and that is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. You also have your four-wheel drive system, your eight-speed automatic transmission. still has the same... Um, remote start key fob here with the uh, big chunky key fob. I like it. A flipper key on there. And uh, that's pretty much it. The Sky One Touch power top that opens up and it takes about, they call it One Touch because you press it once and it'll go all the way open. And it takes about 20 seconds. I think we timed it a couple times depending on whether the vehicle was running or not. I think it went faster if it was running but it takes about 20 seconds for it to get all the way open and about 20 seconds to get it all the way closed up here of your auto dimming mirror home link buttons sos and assist buttons there as well but you can see it really brightens up the interior i'm going to turn all the lights on here so you can see just how bright they are All right, and then I'm going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see different stuff in the videos. I can definitely change up how I do things and always looking to make my experience better for the viewers out there. So I'm going to pause the video and then turn all the lights off so you can see just how bright they all are. All right, so got all the lights off in the picture studio. 
And I do this so you can really see how it looks in the dark, or at least semi-dark. I know the lights are on in the room next door here. Um, but all that light's really bright. And then I like showing how it illuminates. I mean, it's very bright down uh, the road, so it's a very, very nice thing to have, especially if you're in wooded areas with deer and stuff like that. Um, great for Wisconsin, very bright. And the tail lamps look great, the LED license plates look great. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And thank you so much for checking out the video. And if you liked the video, give us a like, subscribe, and share it. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, scathing rebuttals, let me know. And I'll try to make the videos better for everybody out there. Thanks for checking out the video and to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used Jeeps, uh, Wranglers, Cherokees, Compasses, Grand Cherokees, uh, Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day as well as having access. One of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Jeeps especially Jeep Wrangler walk-arounds on YouTube. Over 8,000 videos and almost 500 Wrangler videos on there, so go check us out. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the upper left, a link to more Jeep Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X, especially the ones in Hydro Blue with the Sky One Touch Top. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.